capital and thousands of dollars of your money lost, all because it was given to dead people. Eight on your side, government reporter Pete Montine explains what state watchdogs say bungled welfare benefits. State money was deposited thousands of times in the welfare accounts of 138 deceased Pennsylvanians, says State Auditor General Eugene De Pasquale. 138, it's inexcusable. His state audit looked into nine months of welfare transactions starting in 2011. It found the State Department of Public Welfare kept putting money on food stamp cards of those who died, some more than 30 years ago. $200,000 disappeared. Something is wrong when somebody who's had a deceased social security number from the 1980s is still having money wired to the card. The report details 12 recommendations to stop future fraud, including what De Pasquale calls an easy check of the federal roster of dead social security numbers. That needs to happen yesterday. That, I believe, is one of our, is perhaps our most critical recommendation. The head of the state welfare system says it is cooperating with state auditors, and all but a handful of fraud cases have been resolved. I'm not angry. They're here to do their job. I'm, I'm really not angry. It's, it is their responsibility to ensure that if there's a problem, that it's identified. There's people that need these benefits, but anyone that shouldn't be getting it should not be tolerated. De Pasquale thinks the final step in making sure this does not happen again is a change in state law. A bill upping the punishment for those who fraud the welfare system made another step forward here on Tuesday. At the state capitol, Pete Muntean, News 8. Department of Public Welfare officials say only five electronic benefit transfer cards were actually registered to dead people. They say in many cases the social security numbers were incorrect.